All right, got Anthony's XL here. I've just wired up the um, isolator and the kill circuit for it, as well as the um, push button for it. So I just thought I'd uh, give you guys just a real quick update on um, how to wire these isolators, just the mechanical isolator, um, what it does and how I do it in an XL. Uh, it's the same principle for any car. Um, there's no fancy wiring. You don't need to be a, you know, an electrical engineer to do it. So uh, just figured everyone asked me the same question. I'd show it on a car that's halfway through being built. So normal isolator setup, uh, I have a pull cable come through here, off on, easy done, uh, extra switches, you push button start, uh, blower for your demister, rain light, super easy. So pulling this away, right, hopefully you can see this easy enough. Um, the wiring for the ignition side of it. We use the factory XL wiring um, to cut that off the ignition barrel. Basically the constant comes into the switch, your accessory and on come out um, and go back. And then you also have a, a hot feed into your starter button and then you have your two come out. I can post about this if you just ask. Pretty easy, also, also a little earth on this just to um, make the light work basically on it now over the isolator um, really easy got one wire in from the battery so it's battery cable one wire out i go to the starter motor on an xl and then from the starter motor up to the factory fuse box um, and then how these work is circuit one post up the diagram there i'll put that pitch in there circuit one is your earth circuit so when the switch is off this switch is closed and what that does it gives it a way to discharge your electrical current uh, down to earth so you don't get any voltage spikes or anything like that you have a resistor that you wire up in line it comes with the isolator so resistor in line I've taped it all up that then just goes to an earth there and on the other side of it I just have a wire looped around to the positive on the load side of the switch so I the one that goes to your starter mode not the one to go to your battery a couple of guys have done that and they learn pretty quickly that you just burn all this wire out so don't do that so it's got to be to the load side so the non-hot side of the switch now circuit two when the switch is off this is open when the switch is on this is closed which bridges these contacts and that's what we use to switch the ECU on in the XL so basically I've just intercepted the earth supply, or the earth, the, the negative for the uh, relay that turns the ECU on on an XL, and that's how I do most cars. Find the engine ECU relay, drop that out, so drop the earth off the switching part of the relay, and that'll stop the relay, open the relay up, drop the ECU out, stop the engine. So that effectively does the kill side of the switch, which is, which is what you want. Some people will do it to coils if they've got an older style car, or to a fuel pump. If you do any of them, I suggest putting a, a um, make sure you do it to a relay so you're not putting too much load through these contacts. Um, and it's as easy as that. So that's what these two poles are for. Normally, uh, when the switch is off, this one's closed, um, basically earthing out the hot side of the circuit. Um, and when the switch is on, uh, this one opens up and these ones close, which gives you your uh, power supply to your relay for a ECU or whatever you want to do. It's really easy. Um, I also find it really, really important to make sure you put these rubber boots on anywhere you've got these big electrical cables. Just because when you're working in here, if you manage to hit that with a screwdriver or some of the cars have got more steel work in here, you earth that out, you know all about it, putting this in and out. Um, you know, they're quite close on the sides. It just saves you drama. Really easy to do. Like I said, no fancy connectors. We haven't done anything crazy. Uh, so yeah, any questions, just ask. Happy to help out. Uh, I've done, man, tons of these now and haven't had any dramas. So cheers.